Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Recently, I got a few questions on a Google form feedback form that I have in the description. Some people told me that they want to integrate a web app that they've created inside of Google Apps Script. They want to embed that into their website. Maybe they've created using that uh, using Google Sites or their own HTML CSS websites. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to embed your Google Apps Script web app inside of your uh, website may be created using Google Sites or other web dev frameworks. So for this example, I'm going to be taking a timer web app. So this is the timer web app code that I've written using JavaScript and uh, some CSS to style it out. I'll be leaving this code link in the description if you want to copy it out and try it with me. And um, once my HTML file is done, just to show you how to create a new HTML file, you just click on the plus sign here and click on HTML and then you can name it and stuff. Right. So once we are done, this is where you're, you're going to be doing the most important part. I'll be creating a do get function here, passing an event here. And after this, I'll be just opening the quotes here and uh, I'll be going in here. And the first thing that we're going to be doing is we'll be creating a new variable called HTML output. And inside this, we'll be doing something like this that is called the HTML service dot create HTML output from a file so we'll be doing html output or we'll be using the html template from file here and inside of this we need to give the name of the file so that's going to be timer so i'm going to leave it like this and i'm done here after this we'll be doing uh, just returning the html output dot evaluate and we are done so i'll just go ahead and click on save here so our code is done here and uh, the main part is just designing your web app. So that's going to be the most important part. And then just this function that gets the timer. Once you're done with this, let's just go ahead and click on deploy this project. We'll just click on new deployment here. And um, once this loads up, your first thing is going to be doing is selecting the type. So the type is going to be a web app. If you have, you can have an API add-on or even a library, but it's going to be a web app. Then we'll set a description saying um, first mm, deployment. And uh, then you have an example where uh, this you have to specify whether you want to execute this web app as your email or specify the user accessing the web app. For now, I'll be just doing it as me and who can access it only myself, anyone with a Google account or anybody. I'll just keep this only myself for now and I'll just click on deploy. And in a few seconds, your web app will get successfully deployed. And I'll just click on this link here. In a few seconds, you can see that the countdown for the timer is started in my HTML code. I had specified the 4th of March for this month, for this year, and um, our web app is ready and good to go. So let's just go to the Google sites where I want to embed this. So this is an hackathon website that I've created and I want to embed the timer here to give the participants a countdown as to when the hackathon is going to be starting. So uh, what you have to do is go back to this, you know, just click on manage deployments and you need to copy this url that is there here the web app url so I'll just go here just click on copy i'll go to my event here and uh, i'm going to be coming up here and i'll be inserting an embed function here and you have two options here you can either embed it by the url or embed it by code but here i'll do just embed by url and once you do that you will get a small preview of what your web app will look like so i'll just click on insert and i'll just align it to the center so here, as you can see, we have successfully embedded our uh, countdown function or the web app into our website. The same thing is going to be for websites that you create using different templates and it is updating in real time. If I go here, it's the same thing that's there here. If I go back here, it's the same thing. So this is how we can embed a web app inside of uh, your website. I'll be leaving the blog version of this video in the description. I'll be, I'll be leaving the link and some other resources that you can use. If you want personalized videos like this, I'll be leaving a Google form link in the description that you can fill out with your name and some details and tell me some specific videos or specific questions or ideas that you have on which I should create videos and different tutorials. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.